Hello you guys, it's Spluffy and today I decided to put my mic right in front of me just so you can hear my voice loud and clearly and so I don't have to like look over to my mic that was previously sitting right next to me just so I'd have to make like a point or something but that's not important. What's important today is um, that we're going to be looking over some trades and as you can see this is the last trade I featured in my video as you can see it's still a pretty horrible trade, still a massive rap loss and whatnot but uh, there are gonna be some really cool trades, uh, I promise you, I'm actually pretty excited to review a lot of these trades, because a lot of these trades I've here that I've looked at have to deal with value and not really rap, so I'll be trying to look at mostly value only, um, trades, unless I find some, like, rap trades that are really interesting or whatnot, but yeah, so let's get right into the video. Starting off with our very first trade, and this is probably gonna require a calculator, so let me go ahead and put this into a Rolling Mons calculator, let's be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I gave 84k with two values and then like another wrap item, and SSHF currently is 100,000, so this is a pretty big win. So if we go back to this, yeah, as you can see, the wrap says it all, but whatnot, but not exactly sure why SSHF is going up, considering it has barely lowered, and it has a very poor wrap to maintain 100k. So I honestly have no idea why it rose to 100k. I guess people are just re trying to rehydrate one up, but yeah. First trade with, also by the way, CODs right here. Uh, is a pretty big win, let's go on. Okay, yeah, just another rap win, basically nothing too big, so I guess we could just move on from here. Okay, yeah, now here's a, a bit of a fail trade, I'm not gonna lie, so yeah, I did this trade, when I, well, when I did this trade, TJ basically went limited, like, I think, you know, a few days prior, and basically simmered down, so I'm pretty sure this was like a 2k overpay when I did this, and as you can see, it's not a very good trade right now, since TJ is unvalued, or, yeah, I got devalued, and Madness is lo Madness is not doing very well right now. I don't know why people are trying to stabilize it when it has a very poor wrap uh, compared to its you know value and whatnot. But yeah, not a very good trade. And as you can see here, we have another very good trade. So as you can see, I gave you know the frozen horns of frigid plates. You know, as you know, this is a very big projected. It's a very horrible small. It's just very high for some reason right now. And I gave this horrible NFL draft chain. I got the Gucci sunglasses. So as you can see, this is a very win trade. And yeah, so I think I'm doing some pretty good trades here, believe it or not. Okay, for real guys, the last trade was a joke, but here's a actually a pretty decent trade. Uh, Skelfriend just got devalued, and as soon as it got devalued, it just started tanking. Like, look, look at this, bro. It just started tanking. Like, to be honest, this is the last odor item that um, has gotten devalued. Now, I'm not exactly sure why the Roymon's team has fully committed to devaluing, like, every single odor item and every sing almost every single, like, uh, new demand limit. So, like, TJ misses Layman. But, like, yeah, they devalued every single one of this. Now, of course, it was low pulling, but, like, it doesn't deserve a devaluation. Like, that's just kind of stupid. I mean, to be honest, I hate Skullfriend. But, like, I guess it kind of deserved the value. I mean, obviously, items are going to lower. But, like, why was it devalued? A lot of items lowered so much. So what was the point of not, why didn't you just, why didn't Roman just devalue all of them? Like, it makes absolutely no sense to me, but yeah, as you can see, um, this is a very good trade. Uh, almost half of what I gave is now within Skullfriend, but it, yeah, as you can see, it's doing horrible, so we're just gonna have to see how much it lowers to. Okay, here's a, another trade that kind of deserves a trade calculator. I mean, I, I don't think so. We could just search this up, honestly, so we're gonna see what here. So PBH plus all that wrap is like, you know what, like, so what? 47,000, so 47, that's like 10, so it's like 50, 52K for VDC, which is 60k, so as of right now, this is a win. I'm pretty sure people are trying to stabilize PBH and VC. I'm pretty sure these were, like, almost worth the same. I'm pretty sure this was just, like, maybe, like, I don't know, 10k worth more, and it still is. But as you can see, this is, as of right now, a pretty nice win trade. Yeah, I remember doing this trade back then. So, I did, like, a 2k overpay on TJ right before it started doing crazy, and believe it or not, I, ha I did not manage to trade off TJ, and I still have the TJ that I traded for four months ago. So, yeah, I mean, I'll probably eventually show you that in like another trading video or something like that but like yeah pretty poor trade i mean dupa is probably gonna end up doing really well in the future tj might as well but yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see yeah here's an example of a wrap trade that's really good now i'm very certain this is projected this has never been like 64k before if it has then yeah as you can see it got projected for yet another ridiculous price uh, barely selling under wrap. I guess someone decided to snag it for 80 Robux. I mean, that was uh, just an obvious LBP and whatnot. But yeah, I did have this, but I'm pretty sure I traded off this off before uh, this got ridiculously projected. So yeah. Okay, here's another trade that deserves a trade calculator. So let's go ahead and put this in really quickly. 
Yeah, okay, so the smalls in the trade don't really matter. As you can see here, it's like just, I don't know, 1.6k worth in wrap. But as of right now, it's a bit of a lost trade. Valk is doing horrible yet again for some random reason. I mean, its wrap has been doing very poorly. And I don't know why SSA Jeff rose considering that there's a, a bit of a disproportionate gap between its wrap and value. But as you can see, this is a pretty poor trade. I know when I did this, I was not overpaying a lot. Obviously, I wouldn't overpay 30000 for Valk unless it was doing crazy. And either way, I probably still wouldn't overpay for it unless I was doing a good trade. But as you can see, like this item just, I don't know, it's doing decent for some reason compared to like Valve. But yeah, so not a very good trade. Oh yeah, I remember doing this trade like about four months ago. Yeah, this was ridiculous. For whatever reason, this guy just really wanted Flying Meteor. And they were like, they were like, hey, can I, I'll give you this Otterhead short sword for I was like, can you add something? And they were like, sure. And so I ended up just, I don't know why, they just really wanted this Flying Meteor. Now this isn't the Flying Meteor that I still have. Like I have a Flying Meteor that's like worth I mean, not worth, but like, it's just, it's been in my inventory for like, what, two years? Yeah, where is it? Hold on. Yeah, there it is. I've owned this flying meter for two years. I just skipped over the trade that I did. So like, I just, I don't know. I gave like, yeah, this for that. It's pretty much equal. And then all of a sudden, like this person's like, oh my gosh, I really want this flying meter so much. Please, I'll give you my sword. I'll add this incredibly sexy crown to it. Just give me that goddamn meter already. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Just take it. And yeah, I swear. I remember I was like so stressed out and whatnot. And I remember some other guy with a flying meter was trying to get this person to do the trade but i ended up getting the dub as you can see here and as you can see also otter head has increased um quite oh my gosh thirty thousand. Oh, oh my god what is with people buying these random ass gears i swear in my last trading video you remember that like um what is that mary's mary avenger whatnot someone bought it for so high yeah what is with people on crack these days buying these uh, what on what is this uh, the white mysterious sword for forty five thousand robux you could have spent forty five thousand robux on core blocks but you spent spent it on a crappy gear. I mean, this gear actually looks kind of nice. Otterhead Longshore. I'm pretty sure there's a short sword as well. But, like, that's just so ridiculous. Like, I don't know what's with these gears selling for so much. I mean, I get it. 500 copies. But, like, what? Is there, like, a hoard or something that no one's selling this low? I mean, it sold for, like, 7k not too long ago. 6k. And someone's like, yeah, 45,000? That's the price for me, you know? But, yeah, kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is an equal trade. I mean, we can check that really quickly. So, we have to go to Green Band and Top Hat. So, that's 10k. And VC is 9k. So, I mean, both of these usually do around the same. I'd assume that Green Band Top Hat's going to do way better in the future since this is a bit more of a lower copy item. But, yeah. So, I don't know. I remember doing this. These were both equal, but they weren't doing that great either. Oh, yeah. This is probably a really horrible trade. Let's go take a look at it. I mean, I can already see the wrap difference. It's really horrible. But, yeah. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, it's... It's not really that bad as I thought it would. It's only like, what, 25k overpay? Well, it's still pretty bad considering the wrap is over the value. So I, I'm assuming that Telamon is like, I don't know, in need of a raise. Oh yeah, it's probably in need of a raise, but it hasn't lowered that much either. But as you can see, Valk is still tanking 128k wrap with only 160k value. So yeah, as you can see, this is probably a very bad trade considering Telamons might even get a raise. Uh, very soon but yeah i remember doing this and the guy immediately proofed a low ball afterward for valk and i was like bro really i mean yeah whatever and yeah here's another interesting trade i swear left and right we're getting these uh really interesting trades that i've done almost four months ago but yeah so let's go take a look at it okay so i just checked the values and db is like 145 plus like 9 or 10k it's like 9k so it's like 155 for rbc which is worth uh okay hold on it's right right there okay yeah 140 so not a very good trade i think rbc is still lowering and i think uh db is also starting to succumb to deflation even though it's like you know almost october at this point what it's the 17th of november when i'm sorry the 17th of september when i'm recording this but yeah so again not a very great trade so yeah i just wanted to stop on this trade to show you how much demand lowers during deflation how much the de uh, low demand actually does decent during deflation so you can see that this halloween formal top hat is actually maintained and actually risen in this camel commando just absolutely fucked but yeah oh my gosh bad trade after bad trade now i want you guys to remember these that these were four months ago and i've probably traded off all of these for profit already i obviously wouldn't have kept all these items but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this i mean i honestly know that this is projected not and akon is tanking but like yeah vdc is like what 60 plus like what this is probably worth like 10k or something like that so like 70 plus all these other items and my watch is ringing for no reason in particular but yeah this is like what 15k so 70 85 and akon is worth 
uh, oh wow, 85. Okay, it's an equal trade on if you're considering Dark Masquerade is not projected. I remember doing this. I'm pretty sure this was like almost equal or something. I remember doing this and I wasn't even giving that much. And you have to also pay attention that these three wrap items right here were worth way less. I mean, this was this was like 10k and this was like 8 or 7k and VDC, but VDC was a lot more expensive. VDC was like, what, 80k, 90k or something like that? So yeah. And then A Cotton was like 100 something 105 and started raising afterwards for a bit more but yeah so i'm not exactly sure if this is a good trade or not i mean it's, it's equal at the moment but oh, i don't even know what i'm saying this is this was a good trade and it still kind of is so yeah all right we're starting to approach the mark where i should be ending up this video but as you can see i gave a lot for layman here pigg is tanking i'm just gonna call it pig i don't know why i call it pigg but yeah i did this for one layman one limited because i really wanted layman uh layman was like i don't know 40k or something when i did this trade oh well maybe 50 or something like that and pink galaxy gaze was like also 50 or maybe even 60 so i was overpaying i remember i was overpaying like maybe 5k and then layman started doing really good and i did manage to trade off this layman as you can see this is not a very good trade i did trade this off i know it's um a bit more recent in the trades but yeah so as of right now this isn't very good but i did trade off layman i'm just gonna have to show that in like another trading video okay i think i'm gonna end off with this trade so like valk with ads for classic fedora so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in a trade calculator really quickly okay so this is like almost 200k for cf i'm not exactly sure cf is a little bit more stable than valk at the moment so um, as of right now, this is probably a decent trade if Valk is gonna lower again, but I remember when I was doing this, I think this was mostly equal. I think the only reason I was trying to do this is because, like, I noticed that the Valk was kind of poisoned or something like that. I was just worried that I was probably gonna get terminated, so I wanted to trade it off as much as possible, and I tried getting the best deal as I could, so I did it for CF. So yeah, not a bad trade. Well, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, maybe, uh, look at my other trading videos that I've made. I could link them in the description or something like that, or whatever, or maybe even post them right now as we're speaking. But uh, yeah, as you can see, these uh, trades that I've done four months ago have turned out to be very poor. I mean, I think when I was doing these trades, I was maybe like this wrap or at this point right here. So like, okay, no, uh, that Washington hat trade did not happen at this point. Yeah, maybe somewhere like around right here. So as you can see, yeah, like a cotton, whatnot, scale for an etc. Just remember that these items were a lot, exp like way more expensive back then. So I still had scissors. This was like four months ago. So like what, May? And I had scissors was like 90k and it was doing really good. Scale friend was like 55, doing really well. TJ was was popping off you know a cotton was like at its peak rbc was at its peak valk was almost at it was pretty much at its peak but yeah anyways thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching have a great day